All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a list with Kiwi MD. But before we get into that, I want you to open github.com slash Athreabad and go to the repositories tab and click on the Kiwi MD repository. And after that, I want you to find the list folder and open up the notes.txt inside that. This contains the notes of what we are going to be learning in this video. So you can open up the first link and look at what a list looks like. A list is basically different items stacked vertically and these items are also divided by line. And you can also scroll down that list. There are different types of lists inside KVMD. The basic one is called one line list item which contains one piece of text only as you can see in this example. The other types are called two line list item and three line list items which contain two and three lines of text respectively. We can also add our own images in these lists and these types of lists are known as the avatar list. And if we add an icon that is already inside KVMD like Android and language Python, then we can create an icon list. So let's get started with creating a very basic list and then we can build upon that. So we are going to be starting with a very basic code and let's first of all import our list from KVMD. So I'm just going to write from KVMD. Let's make sure that from is correct. Now from kvmd.uix.list and now you can see that there are a lot of lists present. You can see there is three line list item which basically contains three texts inside a single list item and two line list item. What we are going to start with is a very basic list. So what I want is a simple one line list item and this will just contain one line of text inside each item. So what we're going to do is to add this one line list item. I'm just going to create a variable called item one and inside this we are going to use this functionality of one line list item and it requires a text parameter and inside this we are just going to call it item space one and then we are going to add this item inside our screen. So I'm just going to write screen dot add underscore widget and add this inside our screen and this returns the screen on our app. So now let's run our main.py file and see how this, this simple list looks. So as you can see, there is this item one over here at the bottom of our screen or our mobile app. And when you click on it, it gives this cool animation. Now let's try and add another item inside our list. So it's going to be equally easy. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this over here. And instead of item one, I'm just going to change this to two. And then we are going to add both of these items inside our screen. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And instead of one, I'm just going to write two and reload it. And you'll be able to see that both of the items are over here, but they are kind of overlapping with each other. To fix that, we need to add both of these items to something known as an MD list. So if we go back to our GitHub code in the notes, you can see a flow to create a list. You can see we have already created a one line list item, but this gets added to this MD list functionality. So what I'm going to do is over here where we have imported our one line list item, I'm also going to import this MD list. So I'm just going to write MD list comma and then we are going to create an empty list. So just below this screen, I'm going to create a new variable and we're just going to call this list underscore view equals to empty list and put some brackets over here. And then we are going to add both of these items inside our list view. And then we are going to add this list view inside our screen. So as you can see in our notes, first we add a one line list item to our empty list. And for right now, let's skip this scroll view. And then we add our empty list to our screen. So let's do that. So first we are going to add both of these items inside our list view and you already know how to do that. What you do is you just write list view dot add widget and we want to add both of these items inside our list view. So I'm just going to write item one. Basically what we have done with our screen over here and then I'm just going to copy this and paste this over here again and then we are going to add our item number two. And now because we have already added these two items inside our list view of MD list, that's why we only need to add list underscore view inside our screen. So I can remove this second item and instead of item one, I'm just going to copy and paste this list underscore view. And now let's reload it and see how it looks. So now you can see item one and item two are appearing on different lines, but they're still not at the top of our window where we want it to appear ideally. So for that, we can add it to our scroll view. So in the notes, you can see there are four steps and this is the step that we are missing. So let's go back to our code and what we are going to do is over here. So scroll view basically allows us to scroll through the list and it also attaches our list to the top of our screen and that is why it is very, very useful. So how do we add that? We just write Kiwi and not Kiwi MD this time. We are just going to write Kiwi.UIX.ScrollView and we are going to import with a capital S our scroll view. And then we need to add our MD list to our scroll view. So in the notes, you can see that 
first one list list item, one line list item gets added to this empty list and then this empty list gets added to the scroll view and then the, finally the scroll view gets added to the screen. So we have to change a little bit of our code and it's very important to do this methodically so that you can see what each element brings to the table. So now what we have to do, we have to add this MD list to our scroll view. So I'm just going to create a new variable over here and it's going to call it scroll and we are going to give it the scroll view functionality and then we are going to add this list view inside our scroll. So let's add that. So what we are going to do is we are just going to write scroll dot add widget and we're going to add this list view inside our scroll. And then finally, we need to add this scroll inside our screen and not list underscore view because list underscore view has already been added to our scroll view. So I'm just going to copy the scroll variable and I'm just gonna paste it over here and now let's format everything properly and see how it looks. So now let's reload it and you'll be able to see that our items are at the top of our screen. Now what if we wanted to add more than two items let's say like 20 items so whenever we are creating a list most of the times in practical use case we'll be using a for loop to create these items and not adding them individually by code so now what if we wanted to add like 20 items so what we can do is instead of this uh, item 1 and item 2 adding them individually we can create a for loop and let's say we wanted to add 20 items so we can just write that for in range i and give a starting range and an ending range or we can just write 20 if we want to create 20 items and now we can just format this properly and instead of uh, creating these individual items we can just remove this and add our items over here so obviously over here we have to write a variable so I'm just gonna call this i for i in range 20 and then let's just remove this item 1 and call this as items and then we need to create 21 line list items so over here instead of item 1 what we are gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this one from here and I'm gonna add this i value over here so first we need to convert this integer i into string i so we can just write str to convert this from integer to string and i'm just going to add an i over here and then we are going to add this items inside our list view instead of adding both of these items so i'm just going to remove this and add our items and that's pretty much it guys so one final thing is saying that items is being used before it's even declared and because we want to create 20 item widgets so we need to add all of these 20 inside our list underscore view so what we are going to do is instead of adding them over here I'm just gonna add them inside our for loop make sure everything is formatted properly and now we can just reload it and see how it looks so now you can see we have 20 items over here and you can scroll through them click on them and all that stuff now what if we wanted to create a two line list item for that it's also very very easy instead of one we are just gonna put over here two and if you scroll down over here it says one line list item so let's change this to two and first is the text and then if we are using this two line list item we can also provide a second text and that second text is called as secondary underscore text so let's actually add something right um, hello world over here and let's reload it and see how this looks so now you can see that it's giving us an error because our secondary spelling is wrong so now let's play it again and see how it looks and now you can see that we have our item and we also have our secondary text and then the third list item which we can use is three line list item so instead of two we are just going to add three and then we can just copy this three from here and go down and paste it over here so our text and our secondary text are going to remain the same but we can also add a third value known as the tertiary text so make sure the spelling of this tertiary is correct and then we are just going to write tertiary text equals to and then i'm just going to write over here third text or something like that and now let's reload it and see how it looks so now you can see there are three texts inside our list items item zero hello world and third text so guys this video has already been pretty long so we are going to make a part two of this list functionality of kvmd in which we are going to learn how to add an icon and an image in our list and not only that we'll also learn how to use the builder method to create a list which we have created right now and learning the builder method is really really important because when you make complex applications you won't be just working with the code you'll also be working with those strings that the builder function makes so guys this is pretty much it i'll see you in the next one